dinosaur, and you, I don't know, one of you pooped some pumpkin spice sauce. Jeez, stop it. You need to fix that. <clears throat> Folks, Santee here at the Arizona Ghost Riders. Let's talk about Elmer McCurdy, an empty train robber. He probably felt better than your dead gun dinosaur. Stop with the pumpkin spice. So, my gig as the train guide at Old Tucson's Nightfall this year is composed of history and urban legends. Now that's how you stop the Interestingly, Rob Jensen, entertainment director, wrote a section of the script about Elmer McCurdy, an inept train robber with a fascinating story. Although it's a few years past the Old West period, I thought it very poignant and fits into our Halloween theme. Therefore, I decided to share it with you. Elmer McCurdy was born on January 1st, 1880, into a somewhat dysfunctional family. Yeah, big wonder there, huh? I'm not crazy, I ain't crazy yet. He learned the trade of plumbing and drifted around the Midwest working and drinking heavily. In 1907, he joined the army and learned how to use nitroglycerin for demolitions. Three years later, he formed a plan to rob trains using nitro to get into the safes. His first attempt was the Iron Mountain, Missouri Pacific train in Oklahoma that he heard was carrying $4,000 in silver currency. Unfortunately, he used too much nitro and it effectively melted the coins to the frame of the safe. All he and his cohorts got away with was $450. There's something awfully screwy going on around here. Next, he tried robbing a bank and was successful in blowing up a majority of the building leaving the safe untouched. So yeah, I'd say he was pretty bad at blowing up stuff. Well, or pretty good, depending on how you look at it, I guess. Elmer went back to trains after getting a tip about a $400,000 haul, but ended up robbing the wrong one. The passenger train he did rob netted him about 46 bucks. A sheriff's posse in Oklahoma tracked him down and during a shootout, Elmer died. He was embalmed and put on display in a funeral home as the bandit who wouldn't give up. Eventually, he was purchased by some carnival owners hoping to profit off of him, and over the next several decades, his now mummified body was sold to others trying to do the same thing. At this point, buyers thought he was just a well-made prop. By the 1970s, he was hanging in a funhouse at the Pike Amusement Park in California. The television show Six Million Dollar Man was filming an episode, and a crew member moved to what he thought was a prop, and Elmer's arm broke off, exposing human bone and tissue. Well, that created a stir. You have to be kidding. After forensic pathologists found out that the mummy was actually Elmer McCurdy, he was finally buried with honors. On April 22nd, 1977, Elmer McCurdy was laid to rest in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Although he died at age 31, his career spanned 65 years, 6 months, and 16 days. Everybody say, rest in peace, Elmer! Hey, Rob. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, John. You guys a little bit? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's kind of awkward. The other day I was help setting up for the train, and we had to move those bodies out there, right? And I was feeling it, and the skin on one of the bodies is real. Like real human skin. Um. <laughs> real skin. <laughs> There's no real skin on the body. No. Well, I'm telling you right now, I went inside the mouth and I felt the tooth. He went the inside tooth. the mouth. Felt the tooth. The tooth is real, Tiffany. It's a real tooth. I know what one feels like. I mean, Andrew's done stuff for movies. Yeah. yeah. He's really great with, like, the fake teeth, too, so he can... Uh -huh. well, guys, it's not a prop. I'm telling you. This is like House of Wax level stuff. Vincent Price is going to walk in any moment. I just know it, okay? There are no real bodies being used as props at nightfall. You think we could actually get away with something like that? Or afford it. <laughs> it's expensive. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Go for Rob. We've got the embalmer here at security. Copy that. Just have him wait there for a few. We'll catch up to him. Embalmer? What? What? No. Why is there an embalmer at no. Tucson Studios? It's no, 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 Ed. Ed, Ed Palmer. Palmer. Ed Palmer. He's a new guy. I just think you guys should know about this, all right? You should just really Fair know. Enough. Just we, check into it. Do you, do you want to... You want a Halloween cookie? You want to go calm down? Oh, that's a good idea. Just yeah, take she a made some great cookies last night. I made night. some cookies. Um, we can... I we get can... to the production room? We can take them to the production that's room? That's a good place. Yeah. We're really upset about this. I well, know. Uh, how about the cookie? The S cookie? S cookie. Snickerdoodler? Snickerdoodlers. I, I like okay. those. Alright, we'll see you down at production.
Yeah, yeah, come on. Can we take them to production? Let's take them to production. Production kitchen? Yeah, okay. produ no, production room. Okay, isn't that over there? He smells like pumpkin spice. Right? It's weird. 370 oh, 300. 300. Send the embalmer to the production room, please. Copy. Hey folks, thanks for watching another episode. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. See you on down the trail.